Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. My name is Somil Shah. I'll be your host, instructor and mentor for this particular video. Uh, this video is entitled to show you uh, following. So let me just go over this diagram quickly. Again, this is I'm not saying that this is the only way you can do things. I'm not saying that this is something that you have to do. Simply, uh, I'm showing you different tech stack and I'm trying to teach you data engineering concepts over here. So this video focuses on uh, showing you how to bring data from MySQL uh, database. There is a database called inventory. Inside inventory, we have two tables, customers and orders. Let's leverage Debesium to bring these CDC events into real time into Kafka topics. So we'll have two DBCM, uh, you know, connector we're gonna use. We're gonna bring uh, the data from uh, orders table into a Kafka topic called orders and similarly for customers. And then I wanna show you how you can leverage Flink to read two Kafka topics in real time. Uh, the Flink job will use, uh, will read the data in the DBCM JSON format. It will join these two, okay? And then it's gonna perform an upsert on a new Kafka topic. This is the joined data or stitched data, however you like to call. After that, uh, the Delta streamer is ingesting or, or listening to events from this joined topic, ingesting real time into our MinIO bucket. After every 60 seconds, the Delta streamer is gonna perform a sync uh, with the Hive Metastore. And then you can you know run queries using Trino over here. Again, uh, this just shows you overall picture, but again, there are several ways to achieve this. For example, before we proceed, I wanna say like, let's say you wanna join two tables, right? Should you join real time uh, using Flink or do you bring the, uh, the raw data or the uh, into the bronze layer and then from there you can run incremental pipeline? That is also doable, that's completely up to you. You can also use Flink CDC connector and just join and then directly upset into hoodie. That's one way you can use, uh, um, again, as I said, you can just bring everything into bronze and then uh, do your joining part. That's also doable. Or you can do what I'm also showing you. Again, all of these methods are okay. So the goal, let's, the goal here is to, you know, learn about all these new things, about technology, get a little bit hands-on here and there and learn stuff. All right, so I hope the motivation was there. Uh, I wrote this vlog also on LinkedIn, so I explain all the steps in case if I miss out on any steps. So please, you know, go go ahead and read read that blog. I, I took a decent time to write that. All right, all right, guys. So uh, hopefully you guys are excited. Uh, by the way, before we go, I wanna go over the GitHub repository so you guys can try this out. So if you go to this link, um, you come here. Again, on the GitHub, all the exercise files and materials are available, okay? So, all right. So, all right, Samuel, makes sense. Okay, so what do we do? So guys, so the first thing that we need to do, I have a Docker Compose file, which will spin up everything and you can try things out easily. So uh, let's spin up the stack. Uh, let me let me go to the project directory. Again, this is a Docker Compose file, which will spin up MySQL, Kafka, Schema Registry, Trino Coordinator, Hive Metastore. Uh, Postgres database and a MinIO container. All of this will be spinned up using Docker. So come to terminal, right? And then issue a command docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus D. Minus D stats for uh, run all the containers in the background. So I'm gonna run this command and this will start all my containers running locally uh, in the background. Uh, again, give it a time because these containers are usually heavy, like they're like gig, about a one gig, two gigs, right? So hopefully it will take a little time to download these images. My containers are already running in the background now. Now open up Chrome and verify this. Go to localhost 9000. Put the username as admin, password as password. You will see a Minaya bucket over here. Go to localhost 8080. You should see your Trino coordinator, username admin and then go to localhost 3040. Here you will see your schema registry, Kafka connect, Kafka topics and Kafka connect keyword. So step one, you know, just spin up everything using Docker, hopefully made sense, right? Now, what's the next step, Samuel? Well, okay, so you have a MySQL database. Let's bring data from the two tables, right? So click on this uh, Kafka connect UI and click on new and then search for MySQL. You will see the MySQL division connector. Now, what we will do, 
in the project you will see uh, the properties for the customer table uh, this basically will bring the data from inventory schema there is a table called customers and this will basically bring data into division json okay into the kafka topic so simply copy this settings again it's pretty straightforward we define the username for the mysql which is root the password is dbcm the database that we are in interested or in, in uh, interested right the kafka bootstrap server and the reason we are giving fast data dev over here because again they are running in a container right you cannot use local host so you have to use the docker container name over here okay so hopefully made sense and then again the host name is set to mysql so let's copy come here simply paste this and then here you will see a button says create just click on create connector so as you can see now it's going to bring the data from that particular customer table similarly you can do that for the order table as well so now i can click on new mysql and then simply do this click on create once this is done uh, go to localhost 3040 go to topics search for customers inventory dot inventory dot customers hopefully you can see uh, verify whether you see the json data right click on table i see some data coming in as you can see similarly now verify for the orders you should see some dummy data here as well all right so let's wait okay here you can see some data so yeah we have some data flowing in that's great now the the part that i'm interested to show you is like hey let's join these two using flink right so let's do that uh okay so now i'll start my jupiter notebook and this is probably where we'll be running our flink job i think it's this one probably let's see okay uh, is it the one yeah this is the one okay so again i'm using the latest version of python uh, which when i did my pip install apache flink or you can do pip install flink pyflink uh, my version is 1.19 okay so that's why that's that okay so the first thing that we i'm doing is i'm simply creating a table environment and i'm specifying the jar files that i want to use now how do you find the jar how do you know which jar works for you well usually you just take this name you copy on google and then specify the word maven you would probably go to this link whatever flink version you are just click on that and then click on jar and download it okay so i'm using two jar files flink sql avro confluent registry and then flink sql connector kafka after that i simply create my table environment okay uh, hopefully it should be done in a second or so it's running this cell okay and now i'll create uh, i'll create a table called customer source again you can see connector as kafka i am listening to inventory dot inventory dot customer uh, if i can show you that on here uh, probably we saw the data right that that's the one right so i specify the topic from which i want to listen the data i specify the kafka bootstrap server i specify the group id and then the format is going to be dbcm json this is important offset where do you want to start i'm just pouring it to earliest offset so it's going to start from the beginning and i'm going to create this particular uh, source as you can see that's done similarly i do that for the orders uh, i specify again the topic name that i'm, I'm, I'm i i, I want to read from i specify the bootstrap server etc and then i'll do this as well now to verify whether things are working uh, which means i want to join two kafka kafka topics right using flink so i have a sql that you can use but then i have to restart my kernel so i'm going to uncomment out this so here you can see i'm selecting bunch of columns from the orders and i'm selecting bunch of columns from the customer and then i'm performing a join over here okay so if i run this the output will be not that pretty but hopefully i'm able to show you what i want to show you so let's wait for a couple of seconds uh, here you can see it's real time showing me data i was able to join the data from these two kafka topics right and the two dbcm json the, the format was dbcm json so it works that's all i wanted to show you uh, now i need to stop this so i'll click on stop i'll uncomment out again now we want to dump this data into a new kafka topic so i'm creating a a, a kafka upsert sync over here 
I define uh, the, 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 the columns, right? Which is from over here from my SQL query. And then simple, I'm using the connector as absurd Kafka. This is important, okay? Topic, I'm giving it a name. This topic does not exist. It will create this topic. Uh, the bootstrap server, local 07092. The key format, I'm using Avro Confluent. And the reason for using Avro Confluent is because my Delta Streamer job uh, can easily read data uh, from the Kafka because this is Avro messages, right? Then I provide in my you know uh, schema registry URL over here so that uh, when I start inserting data into this topic, it will register the schema with the schema registry, right? So that's that. Uh, I'll try to create this, execute. And now once I execute this cell, it simply says insert into Kafka absurd sync, which is this guy over here. And then we provided the join query, right? We are joining from the two Kafka source, okay? So uh, before I run this, uh, I mean, actually I can run this right now. I'm just gonna run it. So the job has started, it's gonna keep you know running in the background. Now, if you go to Kafka and if you go to localhost 3040 you will see a new kafka topic appear over here which is called process underscore order and over here you will see avro messages uh, hopefully you can see avro messages that's coming up, coming in very nicely now it should have also registered the schema with the schema registry so if you again go to uh, localhost 3 localhost 3040 schema registry here you can see it has registered the schema with the schema registry. Perfect. Now we have CDC events into this Kafka topic. We joined it. We, we put it into a new Kafka topic. Now our Delta streamer job can real time ingest data from this. Okay. Again, these are Avro messages. So the source class in the Delta streamer is going to be Avro. Okay. So let's go over that and then we'll real time query using Trino. All right. Okay. So class, we're using the hoodie streamer class. We provide in the Spark bundle package and the AWS Hadoop package because we're using MinIO. That's why we have to use the AWS Hadoop package. I provide the properties through Spark config dot property file. Uh, if you try to open that up quickly, Spark, 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 Spark. Yeah, here I define my MinIO access, secret, H3A endpoint, just the basic settings, you know. Uh, we provide in the jar file hoodie utility slim bundle jar over here table type is gonna be copy on right this is the path uh, where I want to build my uh, transactional data lake which is on MinIO then I enable hive sync which means I want the Delta streamer to perform a hive sync okay uh, after that over here source class order apache dot hoodie dot utilities dot sources avro kafka source since this is Avro, Avro messages, we have to use this particular class. We want the Delta streamer to run in a continuous mode after every 60 seconds. We provide in the schema registry URL and we provide in where Delta streamer can find the uh, schema. This is the URL. So if you open this URL on Chrome, you will see a schema, hopefully made sense. So Delta streamer knows, okay, hey, you know, this is the messages that I'm expecting. Uh, then straightforward guys, I'm just setting the offset to earliest, which means start consuming messages from earliest. I define my record key. I'm using order number for both record and pre-com. But again, you can choose the appropriate record, pre-com, partition, etc. The goal is to show you, see how to put overall uh, everything together, right? And then I provide in the uh, Metastore URI so that it can sync the data with my Hive Metastore. So, okay, uh, all right, so try to, okay, so I'm gonna, so here my Jupyter notebook is running. Okay, here, I think I can do it here. So first I need to set my Java home. Before that, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna set my Java home on my Mac. And then of course the Spark home as well, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, so now we can start running the Delta Streamer job. Uh, let me copy that. Oops, that's hard to copy there. And then come here, simply gonna paste that command here. 
So now the Delta streamer is ingesting data uh, in a stream oriented fashion. And what I want to do is I would love to go to, where is my Minio? Did I close it? I think so, maybe not. Yeah, I think I closed it probably. Uh, let me see, do I have my Chrome open? Oh yeah, I have it open. All right, so I'll close this one. Where is that? Okay, so this is the Minio bucket. If I refresh here, I can see my default database and I can see my parquet and the hoodie file. Now I should be able to run my que uh, queries uh, real time in a real time fashion. Uh, so for that, uh, let me see if I can open up Trino. Where is my Trino? Uh, I think I closed it probably, did I? Hold on, give me one sec guys. I just need to open up, uh, I wanna open up Okay, here, this is it, okay. And then I'll open this up, yep, Trino. And then I'll do that. And then I should see a table called uh, process order, right? Because we cataloged it, right? And I can run my query. So here you can see the join the data over here, okay? We are able to query that using Trino. And the Delta streamer is listening in a continuous fashion, which will ingest after every 60 seconds. So a fun project, right? A fun project to try. You you can learn about Flink a little bit here and there, Minayo, Trino, Hoodie, Data Lakes, et cetera, et cetera. Again, this is not the only way we can do it. We can, to do ETL joins, we can also bring everything in the bronze and then from there we can run stream oriented pipelines which will ingest, join the data from bronze to silver. Again, various ways to do it. I'm not debating that. You can use Flink CDC connectors only. You can do this approach. You can bring into uh, bronze and then basically join in, join that and build a silver zone, et cetera, et cetera. So again, the goal of the video is to motivate you. The goal of the video is to show you. The goal of the video is to excite you to try things out. So I hope you enjoyed. A simple like on the video would be very, very great. Uh, the, you know, uh, And if you have any questions, you can put your question in the comment window. I can try my level best to answer uh, that. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the next video.